Hey you guys, it's Lauren, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be all about my Sephora VIB recommendations. But before we get into my must-haves from Sephora, I just wanted to bitch and complain a little bit here. <laughs> I hope um, this video doesn't come off too negative, but I don't know about you guys, but every time the sale rolls around, I am getting less and less excited about the sale. And to be honest, I only have one item on my list that is a must-have that's already in my cart and I'm saving for today, which is VIB day. So I've always been a VIB member. I've never got up to Rouge status, but I've always spent a pretty penny at Sephora, at least, what is it, I think 350 to get to the VIB mark. And last year, they took away the 20% from us VIBers. Now you can only get the 15%. So that has since put a bad taste in my mouth. And then other little things have compiled also. Some of my favorite brands that were at Sephora, like Drunk Elephant, um, Sunday Riley, Josie Marin, I can all get at Ulta now. So I'd rather use my Ulta points over there because the reward system is so great. And then anytime there is a product I wanna get from Sephora, I load it into my cart and I see all the amazing rewards they have, but they're all great out. Is it me or does it seem like every reward over 250 points is never available? It's always grayed out. Like what is the deal with that? And then I, I haven't been getting my samples that I've been requesting. So I'm just kind of, me and Sephora, uh, we're not tight these days. I'm just kind of over them. But I have to admit there are some needle in the haystack products at that store. Uh, and I could spend, if you if I had the time, if I didn't have three little ones at home, I could spend a good three hours in that store easily. And like I said, there really are some great products in that store, but you just have to look hard. But I do feel like a lot of their skincare is way overpriced. They have some amazing luxury makeup. I am a luxury makeup fan. Charlotte Tilbury is probably like the number one reason I still shop at Sephora. And then also some of my favorite skincare items are still carried at Sephora as well. So there are some favorites for me, so I don't want this. I almost did an anti-haul video, but I'm like, oh, that's no fun. Who wants to be? I don't feel like being a negative Nancy today. So I wanted to talk about some of my favorite products from Sephora. These are my must-haves. And another point too, a lot of these products, their websites don't always have the best sales. That's another thing, especially with Black Friday coming up. You're, you're better off shopping on, say, Drunk Elephant's website. I think they offer 20% around um, the holidays. So it's better to wait for those sales. But these products, like the first one we'll talk about, there's almost never sales on their website. So, all right, without further further ado, I'll stop being negative. Let's talk about all the good products. We're going to talk about just the good things in this video. We're going to start with the one product that is already in my shopping cart, and that is the Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother. You guys know I'm such a fan of this hair care brand. I love a lot of their products. Some of them I don't think are worth it, but the number six is hands down my favorite styling cream. This doubles as so many different things. It's a detangler for me. I even use it in my five-year-old's hair and it doesn't weigh her hair down. It just makes her hair so soft and silky. It's also a leave-in conditioner. It conditions the hair so well. My hair, anytime I don't use this, if I don't have it around, I miss it so much. There's something about the added shininess this gives to the hair and again, and the silkiness it just smooths down the strands so well I love this regardless of what kind of conditioner I use say I just I talked about that bumble and bumble conditioner that I did not get along with recently that conditioner just did not hydrate my hair I, it literally felt like straw after using it but as long as I put this on my hair when it was wet when I got out of the shower it still gave me that good shiny silky result that I'm always looking for in a conditioner so this is a great styling cream it also doubles as a blow-dry cream as well and it has that bond smoothing ingredient in here so this is just a great product to repair the hair and make your hair silky smooth it's so great I will always have this in my arsenal the Olaplex products are not exactly on <laughs> the large side but this lasts me forever I've had this for about four months already and you can see I'm down to the wire so I'm definitely in need of a new one and like I was saying earlier, Olaplex does not usually offer sales on their website. So during the Sephora sales, I always go for the Olaplex products that are my favorites. And this is just the one I happen to have to restock on. So this is already my car. Next, let's talk about a moisturizer. I do have actually a lot of moisturizers in this video, but this is one of the moisturizers that is on the lower price side and is so worth it. The Sunday, ugh, why do I always say Sunday Riley when I talk about Summer Fridays? Summer Fridays <laughs> Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream is one of the most hydrating gel to cream moisturizers that I found. I don't have any left of this. I saved this for my empties video. I, I, maybe I, I have some left here. Okay, so this has literally like the name, a cloudy lightness to it. It almost has like a whipped consistency, but it has that gel aspect. But even with me having dry skin, this hydrates the skin so well. Um, there's amazing ingredients in here. There's amino acids in here. So it's great for repairing the skin and it just makes 
my skin velvety smooth I always wake up with a softest skin this can double as a night cream for me um I do however I feel like I use it more I would use it more in the daytime it's, it's light but still super super hydrating so I feel like this would go across all skin types again even with my dry skin this gel formulation is just beautiful on the skin so lightweight but oh my gosh is this pack in the moisture love this so much and then next up from the inky list their fulvic acid brightening cleanser this is one of their most their, their standout products this is an amazing cleanser it is also a gel formulation and again with my dry skin I usually go for products on the creamier side but this has such a good lather to it and it's really effective at cleansing the skin getting off my makeup but it still leaves my skin really hydrated and not stripped just feeling clean it has nice ingredients in here there's licorice root um I don't know how much brightening you're gonna get from this and as a matter of fact the fact that it's called a brightening cleanser I was kind of disappointed it's not like there's any AHAs or anything to exfoliate the skin to reveal brighter skin but I think it's just the fact that it cleans so well your skin almost has like a subtle a subtle brightness to it um, but it's more so just the formulation I really like how effective this is and there's also sunflower seed oil in here as well so it's really hydrating on the skin I just love this and you get so much product for your money here it's eleven dollars and I believe I already looked at the exclusions for the sale it doesn't look like the inky list is on the exclusions list with which I think ordinary always was so it's great you can get this at a sale price and it's already at an affordable price so great news on this and I, I just love this product this has lasted me forever I, I love this cleanser and then next up is my hands down most favorite cleansing balm this is by glow recipe this is the papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm this this is so oh my god chef's kiss most beautiful whipped consistency with the most oh my gosh satisfying smell to this oh my gosh it literally smells like you're cutting into a fresh cantaloupe it, this is such a satisfying bomb and it rinses cleanly off the skin it leaves my skin feeling hydrated um, none of that oily residue is left behind I can use this as just a single cleanse and feel okay about it like I don't feel like there's residue left behind like I said it's a very lightweight cleansing bomb they nailed it with a name because it really is like a sorbet consistency. This takes me back to childhood. My dad would always buy the rainbow sorbet that was always in our freezer. What happened to that? Do they still sell that? I feel like it's not really a thing anymore. I feel like it was so big in the 90s. But anyway, it's just such a beautiful consistency. The smell is amazing. And it's just such a satisfying part of my end of the night, nighttime routine. It's such a beautiful cleanse. It's just so nice. I haven't found anything like this. The Um From Fig Cleansing Balm, that's a Korean skincare brand, is very similar. But you know what? That's not even really a dupe because I think that cleanse in the 30 something dollar range as well um, but yeah there's it's a very unique cleanse it's just a beautiful product so this is one of my favorites from glow recipe youth to the people is another brand I have like a love-hate relationship with them there's so many products I love so so much and then there's some that I'm like eh, I don't think you're really worth the money but the adaptogen deep moisture cream is such uh, there's something different about this moisturizer I have the travel size version here I did go through a, a full size before um, I have so many moisturizers that I have to get through right now, but this is the one moisturizer I keep in my makeup bag. What's the word I'm looking for here? Versatile, I guess. Like it works with every foundation. It's light enough that it absorbs into the skin so quickly. It doesn't leave like a slippery feel to the skin. So it really allows my foundation to set on the skin, but it still hydrates my dry skin. This has mushroom extract in here and mushroom can be really hydrating to the skin. It acts as a humectant and this moisturizer is it just there's something different about it it's so nice it's a very creamy formula still very lightweight but a little thicker than a lighter lotion it has definitely a thicker consistency and more of a more of a rich consistency hydrates the skin so well I love this moisturizer no scent to it it's unscented it's very gentle on the skin soothing on the skin my skin just always feels so hydrated after using this and again it doesn't it doesn't leave that oily slip so it's perfect for um, before makeup and but it also can work as a nighttime moisturizer for me it does hydrate enough um, for my dry skin I really think this is one of the best products from you to the people this and their cleanser their cleanser is awesome as well so yeah I just I love this so much I was only gonna talk about my favorites here but I figured a lot of you might be interested in their new product their Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm. They just sent this out to me in PR. 
I like it. It's a nice cleansing balm, but I do I feel like it's overpriced and it doesn't wash cleanly off of the skin. It almost feels like there's like a waxy residue left behind and the scent is not pleasing whatsoever. Like a plasticky smell. It's a very subtle berry smell, but I was expecting more of like that tropical paradise smell to this. So I, I don't know. I don't think this is worth it, but if you're looking for a product from Used to the People and if you want a good hydrating moisturizer, their Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream is so nourishing. It's one of my favorites. All right, so we can't talk about nourishing moisturizers without talking about the Bison Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. Oh my gosh, this is one of the richest moisturizers I've found at Sephora that isn't too thick. You guys know I talked about the Tatcha Cream where I just feel like that is, uh, it's a little too thick. It almost literally feels like you're slugging your face with Vaseline leaves an oily residue. But this has that richness but it still has a lightness to it as well, and it's quick absorbing into the skin. So reparative. I always reach for this if my skin is compromised, if I'm feeling, if it's a little inflamed. This is such a soothing cream. It's so rich, and just like the name, it repairs the skin. It's a beautiful cream. If you're looking for a good anti-aging moisturizer, I think this is a great option. It doesn't have any of those standout anti-agers anti like retinol or, um, or peptides, but there's just something about the reparative aspect to this that almost literally like firms up the skin but if anything that occlusiveness just keeps in those good active ingredients so if you're using a lot of serums and you're looking for a good occlusive moisturizer this is great and there's just something about the reparative effects on the skin it really smooths the skin this is fabulous love this all right the next product we're gonna go back and forth from makeup to skincare but I wanted to talk about this makeup product because I can tell I'm needing a little touch up right now but the bite beauty change maker uh, this is the flexible coverage pressed powder this is one of my favorite pressed powders this doesn't make my skin look cakey or dry it just smooths down the skin and takes away any shine without making my skin look even more dry than it is I love this so much it's so lightweight um, there's just something different about this pressed powder very underrated I feel from Bite Beauty it's so nice there's also something about maybe it's the shade I have here but I have light too there's something about the brightness factor it kind of makes your under eye pop it's a great under eye setting powder it's just thin and lightweight it sets and wears really nicely I am super picky with my pressed powders because of how dry my skin is and this is just such a nice one you see how it just I don't know if you guys can hear my son upstairs. It almost sounds like he's crying, but now he's to the point where he's cooing so loud. Like, it, he yells, but it's he's having fun, I promise, up there. He's up there with my husband. He woke up on the earlier side today. He's finally starting to sleep. Well, I say sleep through the night. He does still wake up at two for his bottle, but sleeping a good six hours is sleeping through the night in my book when he's been up every, like, three to four hours for the past five months. So he is starting to sleep, but today's daylight savings day, so I think he thinks it's a little earlier than it is. So my husband is amazing as he is. He got up early with them so um i could film this so yeah it's just enough to take down the shine i like the shade the, the shade match light too is a great shade match for me but i just like how light this is and how just smoothing it is on the skin this is one of my favorite favorite setting powders. all right getting back to skincare i wanted to mention the super goop daily dose vitamin c and spf of 40. this is such a unique product it's a combination of a, a vitamin c derivative serum with an spf of 40. i feel like there's nothing really like this out there on the market it has this beautiful glow factor to it and it's really thin and lightweight so it wears nicely under makeup and even if you wear it alone it just is really flattering on the skin do you see that glow now the only thing this isn't super hydrating if you're on the dry side I do have to reach for a heavier SPF like throughout the day or I should say a more moisturizing SPF but I love this for underneath my makeup if I just want a thin layer if my skin isn't super dry that day this sits really nicely and I just like that glow factor this is an SPF that helps your makeup stay put and just gives that like added glow even underneath foundation it's just a, a really cool SPF just something different and unique so yeah I thought that this was worth the mention this is a really really fun product by super goop and then next up is I think one of the most underrated moisturizers at Sephora this is the milk moisturizer or the vegan milk moisturizer by milk makeup this is only it's 30 something dollars 35 dollars I think which I know you can get drugstore moisturizers a lot cheaper than this but there's something unique about the the lush consistency to this it's almost like a pillowy soft cream but it's so hydrating on the skin it's so nourishing um it sits well underneath makeup it works well as a night cream it's just an all-around nice moisturizer that is just so beautiful on the skin again just so like pillowy soft and velvety on the skin 
there's something about the softness this gives my skin. Anytime I would use this at night, I always woke up with really velvety, soft, hydrated skin. And it's also light enough to use during the day. I can just use a little bit of this underneath my SPF and it's just enough hydration. But there's still something so beautiful about like that, that lushness, that velvety feel to this. And for $35, I do feel like this is a really great buy. I love this moisturizer. It's fragrance free and there's not a lot of fluff in here. It's just a nice hydrating moisturizer with squalene being the standout ingredient. One of my favorites at a great price point on this as well. All right, now we're getting into the heavier moisturizers, and this is the last moisturizer I'll talk about that will go into some more makeup and a fragrance. This Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer, just like how it sounds, ultra, ultra hydrating. There's this beautiful quality to the um, occlusiveness of this product. It does leave more of like that slippery feel to the skin. It's a very emollient on the skin. So if you're not a fan of that, you probably won't get along with this. I don't think this is good for oily skin types. It is heavy. And again, it leaves that slip, almost that greasy feel to the skin. But with my dry skin, I just love this, especially in the winter time. I always reach for this. I've repurchased this. Well, th I think this one was PR, but I've repurchased this on my own as well. I just Love this moisturizer so much. I do go through this pretty quickly. Um, is it 1.7 in here? Why does it feel small? Okay, it is 1.7. Yeah, so you're getting a decent amount of product, but I think just because I, I just reach for this all the time when my skin is just parched. It's so nice. And I, honestly, I think my husband digs into this as well. Great for his eczema prone skin, but this is such a rich moisturizer that also has that like lush velvetiness to it, um, but it's a little bit more heavy and much more on the occlusive side. You're getting the ceramide ingredient in here, so you're getting those building blocks put back into your skin. Packs in the hydration, great for a thick, heavy night cream. It really does just seal everything in and hydrates the skin so well. There's something about the plumpness factor and the bounciness that this gives the skin. It makes your skin just just firm and hydrated and just bouncy and youthful looking. It's so nice, so nice. If you're on the more mature side or if you just have just dry skin. I think this is a fabulous moisturizer. Um, I cannot say enough good things about this. My only negative, I do, I'm not a fan of that, that honey smell. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not, the honey smell doesn't stick around and it's not irritating at all. If anything, again, it's super soothing on the skin and my husband with his dry, parched, often irritated skin, he tells me that this is super soothing and the one moisturizer that really actually heals his skin. So yeah, one of his favorites as well. It's just so healing on the skin. I love it and it'll be perfect for the winter time. All right, now let's talk about this fragrance. So I do feel like fragrance is one category that is especially worth picking up during the Sephora sale. If you've had your eye on a really pricey fragrance, 15% off could be worth it for you. And I do feel like this Skylar Isle fragrance, if you're looking for something unique but fresh, beachy, how do they describe this? I literally think they say fresh, beachy, and dewy. That's exactly, hands down, they like nailed it with their descriptive words because it's the most, it takes you to a beach, but it's not too coconutty. It's just fresh. It's like that fresh out of the shower smell, but it adds, it, there's like this fresh, a little bit of a floral aspect to it, but it's more of that like ocean-like fresh quality to it. But beachy really is that perfect descriptive word for it because it really does take you to a beach, but without that overpowering coconut smell, there is just something so satisfying about this. Oh my, oh my gosh. It's so, it's like, just intoxicating is the best word for it. My husband loves it. Um, when I go into work in the mornings, if I'm wearing this, everybody's like, what are you, Laura, what are you wearing? Did you get a shower this morning? I'm like, no, I just sprayed myself for, with uh, some Skylar. I just love this perfume. I always recommend it too, to my friends. It's such a great scent. Now they just repackaged uh, their scents and I heard that they're more on the stronger side. One of the complaints from this brand was that their fragrances don't last a long time. I do feel like this is one scent that does have good lasting power. I've tried, um, do I have it here? Oh, here. Sun Shower is another nice one, but I don't feel like it's as lasting as Isle. And also Salt Air doesn't last as long, but somehow this lingers a little bit better than those other ones. But again, it sounds like this reformulated version lasts a little bit longer. So yeah, if you want to try out a beachy scent, I think this would be worth picking up from the Sephora sale. It's just so such a satisfying scent, I love this. All right, and let's talk about some Charlotte Tilbury. Now, this part of the video was very hard for me. I wanted to literally include all my makeup from Charlotte Tilbury because I just love her formulas. Um, the lasting power is great. There's just something unique about her packaging, just everything about her products I love. 
your lipstick shades, which we'll go into in a second. But if you're looking for a highlighting and contour palette, there is something so special about the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. The highlight shade in here is one of my favorite shades. It, it doesn't look like anything special in the pan. I'm wearing it today. It's subtle enough, but it still gives a pop on the cheeks. So good for every day, but also for, you know, my crazy nightlife I have every hair here, very far and few between, but um, it just makes your skin look youthful. I like that little pop of a highlight. It just makes your skin look awake. And I just think this is the perfect champagne shade. And the contour shade as well isn't too warm. It's not too ashy. It's just such a beautiful contour shade. I use it in the hollows of my cheeks. I use it as a nose contour just a great shade and this has lasted me forever so it's just a great addition to your makeup bag i will never be without this one of my favorites from charlotte tilbury you cannot go wrong with the film star bronze and glow also available in, in the mini version as well but i do feel like it is worth to pick up the the bigger version because again it just lasts forever and i like having that bigger mirror in here and I just love that packaging. Like, how pretty is that? So yeah, one of my um, holy grails from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I can't talk about Charlotte Tilbury without talking about her lipsticks. Her lipsticks are some of my favorites. I wasn't prepared to do I should have worn one of the Charlotte Tilbury shades. I have one of the new BK Beauty lipsticks, which I swatched recently on my Instagram if you're interested in some BK Beauty. She, Lisa J just came out so, with some beautiful nude lipstick shades and I'm really excited about this one in particular. But, but anyway, Charlotte Tilbury is another one of my favorites for nude lipsticks. And some of my favorite shades from her, the first one being Kim KW. This is such a great nude. This is great for if you're going for like a smoky eye look and if you want something subtle but still pops and doesn't completely, completely wash you out, this is a great nude. Now this shade Bitch Perfect definitely has some more shine to it. Bitch Perfect is probably my hands down most favorite Charlotte Tilbury shade. It has just enough dimension and pigment to it but it still is a nice wearable nude you could wear this without anything else going on and it just is so flattering and then last but not least super cindy is more of that spicy like 90s nude and it leans more on the pinky side than the red side like a lot of those 90s spicy nudes can um a little deeper but still subtle at the same time a great wearable nude as well love that shade i just love so many of charlotte tilbury shades she, I, you cannot go wrong with picking up a charlotte tilbury lipstick and last but not least i wanted to talk about another lipstick and that is by bite beauty bite beauty is one of my favorite brands at sephora i love their lipstick formula they're so hydrating um so easy to wear they stay put and the pigments are so saturated i just love all their shades some of my favorites this honestly this might have been my most favorite pr package i got um all of the shades from this line but some of my favorites um are right here and i'll tell you guys about them this first one honey crisp is really bright a little bit of a coral undertone to it but it has that like deeper pinkiness to it as well really wearable like bright shade and then next up is leche this is a gorgeous nude more on the mauve side another one of my favorites i love that color and then we have tan here i just wore this in my boots ingredients video love that as well more on the berry side there and then next up this is very similar to leche but more on the caramel side a little bit more on the beigey mauvier side the shade's called amaretto another really gorgeous shade and last but not least a really unique one that i really love is brandy that i don't wear enough but i always break this out more in the winter time because it's deeper but it still has brightness to it a little more on the purple side almost like that whiny lipstick shade really has that like deep maroon aspect to it but really flattering on the lips if you want like that deeper impactful shade this is just a little something different it's a nice fall color as well and i like it around christmas time but yeah the best part about these lipsticks is that they're super pigmented they stay put and they're so nourishing on the lips so love these lipsticks as well so bite beauty and charlotte tilbury hands down my most favorite lipsticks from sephora and i do think they're worth picking up on a sale but all right guys but that concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if there's any needle in the haystack products from sephora that you really love and that you always repurchase and on the other end are you guys just feeling over these sales like how i'm feeling i mean again they have some great products that i'll continue to repurchase but i just feel like we need to get the word out sephora you need to start supporting shall we say us smaller purchasers <laughs> give us vibers bigger discounts and maybe you'll pull us in a little bit more they just need to bring back bigger discounts to pull me in or else 
I'm going right to Ulta and Ulta you can have my money. Sephora is just not pulling me in like they used to so I don't know if you guys are feeling like that as well but I'd love to hear from you guys down below but anyway thank you guys so much for watching you guys are the best um, again leave um, your favorites from Sephora down below and what you guys are purchasing from the sale if you guys are purchasing from the sale at all <laughs> but thanks for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video